Earth signs. What's up, my tribe? What is going on? What's up? What's up? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hi, Earth signs. This is going to be for Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. Thank you guys for your love and support and your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. I appreciate all of what you do for our channel wholeheartedly. Thank you for all of you who book your readings with me. If you find you resonate with this reading or my energy and you want to book a personal reading, you can book it at closer, the number two, mydestiny.com. I appreciate each and every one of you for your love, okay? Thank you for talking to me in the comments, keeping me posted about what's going on with you and how you're resonating with my energy. All right, y'all, let's go ahead and dive in. So for my earth sign tribe, all right, this is what I'm getting for your overall energy um, and your pre-shuffle. All right, we're going to pull some more cards to see what else could be going on around you. But right now, you're dealing with some type of crazy ex that won't let go. Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo, y'all, this person is obsessed. Somebody here is focusing their intentions directly on you. This person is thinking about you. This is why you kind of feel like you're, you know, being pulled in different directions. You might even feel like one minute you're over them. Next minute you're thinking about the past. This person is thinking about you. And they're also focusing their intentions on you. Somebody wants another chance at this and i feel like you've already rejected this person more than one time somebody just doesn't want to take no for an answer um this person feels like you give them mixed signals possibly maybe one minute you're rejecting them fully and then the next minute you're talking to them being kind or you could feel like this person's giving you mixed signals. Somebody is doing everything they can to try to control themselves when it comes to you. I feel like this person is embarrassed about their choices in the past with this guilt, embarrassed and in the wrong, ashamed. Somebody could be ashamed of their actions, feeling really, really bad about whatever it is that took place between you and them. Somebody is regretting their decisions. Even the ones who have made the wrong choice. When it comes to love, somebody could have chose somebody else or to go down another path. And then these days, they're regretting it. Somebody is watching you grow, watching you blossom, watching you become more um, financially stable and secure. They find, they're find they seeing you become more attractive, to be honest. It's like you don't look like the person that they were with. You've never, you've always been attractive to them, but you're much more attractive and doing a lot better now that you don't have their dead weight to carry around. Now that you don't feel uncomfortable and unloved and not really sure of what direction to go in, you're feeling very self-sufficient and confident. And this person is seeing this in you and feeling very ashamed and very guilty. Somebody is feeling very... um frustrated with themselves so to speak because they can't get you to open up to them like you used to um we also have karma here so somebody is facing karma at this time they're going through cycles and triggers learning lessons and i feel like one of the biggest lessons they learned is with you and this situation with you some of you could be um connected to this person where you're in each other's lives it's really nothing you could do about it but you're doing everything you can to keep your distance from this person because after going through this cycle with them round and round and around, you've learned your lesson. And for some of you, many of you have this love-hate relationship with this person. It's like one minute you like them, one minute you can't stand them, or either one minute they love you or they like you, next minute they can't stand you. It's just like the universe will not allow peace and harmony in this relationship because there's too many open wounds, too much too, it's like too much frustration on one person's end and it just is a lack of healing and this helps you see this person for who they really are it also helps you realize and understand that there will be a struggle to find common ground here so it's best that you make sure that you keep your distance somebody is regretting not having a family with you not treating you right and not tending to this love this option all right, to have love and a happy family with you. All right, so you could know this person to be very um, kind of psychotic. This person could lose their temper at the drop of a dime. This is somebody who really um, tries to balance their energy, but a lot of times they're unsuccessful. This could be somebody who lets their attitude and frustration get the best of them. And this could be what rubs you the wrong way about this person. Let's see what the energy is from this person towards you. We see that this is a love-hate relationship. They feel karma. They feel guilty. They're going through karma from choosing the opposite or not really embarking on this path that they could have taken with you. Um, so let's see what's up here with this person. Let's see what's going on. This person feels a lot of passion towards you. 
insane chemistry, having fun, equal interest, burning desire. So to be honest, you walked away from something that you really saw a future in. Like you really saw a future, a possible future with this person. Um, this is a situation where you felt that you guys could make it as a couple. You actually could make it or you could get along or there's a lot of similar interests here. And you guys laugh together. You might even have inside jokes together. But when it comes to commitment, security, monogamy, there's a problem when it comes to um, granting each other grace and having empathy for each other and seeing each other's um, point of view, there's an issue. So this could have caused something. Somebody had struggled being honest when you guys had a chance. I really do feel all this energy. So all there, although there's a lot of passion, there is like this love-hate relationship where sometimes you battle. All right? Clarity and truth, revelation, honor and protection and determination all right so i feel like it takes all of this in order for this connection to stand and it also takes respect with the sword of truth it definitely um would take someone being honest about their feelings and about you know the things that they're indulging in outside of the relationship and i feel like that was the problem let's see somebody also has a big family and they always chime in on what this person is doing Somebody is going through karma because they wanted to propose to you. You have some type of fl twin flame. Wow. Yin and yang. Balance. Union. Duality. Complement each other. Polar opposites, but you complement each other. And then somebody could have wanted to propose to you or they want to. Somebody could be thinking about a higher level of commitment with you. Partnership, union, and completion. Okay, Earth sign. So... <laughs> This is one of those twisted love stories where it's like you love each other, but there's a lot of differences that you have and there's a lot of similarities that you have. Um, I feel like somebody is in this season where they're very guarded. They're feeling ashamed. They don't know how to come out of this guilt. Somebody knows that they dropped the ball, but they're not really admitting it to themselves. So somebody is experiencing a sense of denial. And so with that being said, if they're not taking the blame, that means they're blaming it on you. And this is a problem. This is causing a huge disconnect between you and this person. And it's stopping you from seeing eye to eye. It's stopping you from being there for each other and supporting each other wholeheartedly. Because deep in the back of your minds, you're like, well, this person can't even be honest. This person can't be accountable. And then they're saying, well, this person blaming me for everything. I'm not the fault for everything that happened. Well, let's see what the cards want to tell you about this. All right. This person is thinking about calling you. They're thinking about admitting and expressing love to you. They're thinking of you and they want to inform you of how they truly feel. So somebody is thinking about that. Show me more about this situation. But with these cycles, this could have been someone that you had an in and out relationship with. Maybe you tried it a couple of times and it wasn't successful. So you just threw in a towel. You're like, it's not working. And I'm not interested in arguing the whole time. Like, I just want to have some type of common ground. I want us to be on the same page. Coffin. Somebody wants liberation here. Somebody is... Wanting to fix things, a new beginning, all right? You had a tra tragic ending with this person, possibly, and they're feeling guilty, all right? They do realize that they're the cause of whatever happened between you. And somebody wants to fix this. They do. They want to help heal your heart. They want to heal this love. They want to heal this relationship. Somebody does see a future with you. Um, somebody could know that they are toxic, Somebody could have had an abusive relationship, but somebody wants to heal the heartbreak that they caused. Somebody could have been verbally abusive or emotionally abusive, not really treating you how you're supposed to be treated or what you giving you what you deserve. All right. Somebody could have been holding back from you. Let's see what else is here. Cycles, triggers, and lessons. So I feel like not only did this person learn from you, but you guys learned lessons from each other. Yeah, somebody could have an addiction or be coming out of an addiction. Somebody is kind of codependent. Maybe this person is having trouble standing on their own two feet. You could be dealing with something that's struggling with independence 
or maybe every time you turn around, they are living with someone or relying on someone. Um, maybe you're the independent one and you want to see somebody come out of this. This person could also have addictions. They could be smoking a lot and really addicted to that, drinking to the point where they're not focused on anybody else or letting anybody in. This could be running their life, to be honest. Wow. Wow. Somebody, these addictions that this person has could be causing an emotional block. And with this psycho energy, somebody could be very, very, I really feel like you're in a season of abundance, but somebody could be very controlling, all right? Somebody could be very controlling. This person could also be a bit insecure. Um, this person knows that you are a victory. They know that you are good news for many of you. Now, the energy could be interchangeable. This could resonate as the other person being a prize. And you could be in this energy here of having an addiction. So just put yourself where it fits. Somebody could definitely... Somebody is codependent, though. It's like they almost feel like they need someone like to validate them. They need someone to make them feel good. It could be somebody feeling like they need to be in a relationship or else they don't feel like they're on the right path. And it's true. Some people do feel more complete and more whole when they're sharing life with someone. But um, codependency is unhealthy because it stops you from really being able to operate in your highest energy if you always have somebody that's being a crutch for you. So self-indulgence is here too. I feel like a lot of my people that are watching me, you know your worth. You value yourself in a different way these days and you're doing this shadow work and you're appreciating yourself and you've taken time to heal. Somebody does need time to heal. Maybe someone has had an addiction and they're trying to get out of it. Somebody has kicked a drug habit or somebody has stopped smoking. Somebody has stopped drinking because you realize that it just caused you more trouble. It does not fill the void. It creates a new one. And somebody's realizing that, okay? This is your season of abundance and good things happening. Somebody is manifesting the life that they want and your life is surrounded by blessings at this time or you have this coming because of this ending. Somebody sees you as blessed and they want to be a part of the action. Somebody does not want to be left out in the cold, okay? But this person is kind of crazy and you don't know how to deal with this person's energy. For some of you guys, you're just like, this person just does too much. I'm not really sure about... How I want to move forward with them. I'm not really sure of what might happen. Let's see what the tarot wants to tell you about this energy. So let's see about this love-hate relationship. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, and Gods. Thank you for your divine and protection. Giving us messages of clarity, truth, love, and light. Blinding every evil eye. Monitoring spirit, familiar and unfamiliar spirit. Away from this channel. Away from my collective. And away from me. Thank you for giving us victory in every situation we may face. In abundance and overflow. Abundance and overflow, abundance and overflow, amen. All right, y'all, let's see. Show me clear messages about this passion and this truth. Somebody's trying to manifest an opportunity to heal. Somebody could be telling you that they're no longer a manipulator, all right? But somebody is using the tools that they have. Somebody definitely could be dealing with a Virgo. Somebody could be even doing a love spell to try to bring you in or try to make you open up to them. <laughs> It's true. Somebody could be dealing with the air sign or like I said, a Virgo, but there is some type of love-hate relationship between you and this person. With the four of swords, somebody could be in this energy where they're guarded and healing from all of this stuff that happened between you. I feel like it was a time that you hurt each other. All right. Show me the energy of this magician. Trying to manifest a positive outcome in this situation. This magician energy, whoever this is, could be manifesting um, a happy ending. Somebody is manifesting love. Somebody is manifesting healing. And somebody definitely is manifesting money. I think all of y'all are manifesting money. Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. But somebody is dealing with the air sign. What's the energy of this air sign besides healing? Somebody is in a healing phase. They're going through a spiritual awakening. This is what's bringing them toward you. Somebody's healing their heart and trying to prepare for love. Somebody wants to heal from this situation where they're codependent and they don't have a home. Somebody's trying to build a family, have a home, marriage, all right, commitment. So somebody really wants to open up to you about how they're feeling. 
this healing energy and this elevation that they're going through is opening their eyes to what's real in their life. And they're realizing what this relationship truly was. And it's like they've realized that you're the one. Somebody's realizing that you're the one. I lied to you not. That's what I feel. Yes, yeah, somebody's praying for a turnaround. Somebody wants good karma in this relationship. They want to balance karma. You got karma twice. The fact that your twin flames engagement ring, somebody wants to balance karma and they want to marry you. Somebody here sees you as their future. This is what I'm getting. Show me one more on this balanced karma. What's happening with this karma being balanced? Yeah, somebody's willing to stand their ground for this relationship. Somebody is setting healthy boundaries. They're willing to do that. They're willing to meet you halfway. All right. And I feel like this person is thinking about you passionately. Somebody is definitely excited about the idea of you. Somebody could want to be intimate with you. Um, right now, this person is thinking about you so passionately and they really want an opportunity with you. This is what's on their mind. All right. This is what's on their mind. And somebody definitely is in hermit mode, shining the light on situations that you might not see. Somebody could be seeing somebody shadow side, a Capricorn. Somebody could be seeing that something's going on with the Capricorn, some type of unhealthy energy. Somebody could be seeing that somebody is giving in to their, their, it's like this negative energy. This is the, um, the devil card. All right. So somebody could be giving in to this shadow energy. And somebody is noticing that, that I would talk to this person, but they're toxic. Somebody could be leading off with sex or just doing too much. And this is what's making you guarded. Like you understand how this person feels. I feel like you feel that pull too, but you've elevated to a point where that doesn't move you anymore. You need to see something real that you can really invest in. And all that flirtatious energy and sex does not excite you. I mean, you love it, but it doesn't excite you. You need more than that to be grounded and to feel like you can really invest. Child, love call and coffin. What's going on with this love call? New beginning, feeling guilty and embarrassed. All right, somebody loves you a lot with this king of cups energy somebody could be dealing with a cancer pisces scorpio but somebody loves you but somebody is emotionally unavailable or this is you walking away from this person that loves you so much it's like you feel like they aren't ready but somebody is going through this spiritual awakening where it's showing them what's real in their life and they're realizing that the stars align with you they are. This Eight of Cups is representing walking away from something that is no longer good for you or serving you that you were emotionally invested in. The Eight of Cups also um, signifies being on a spiritual awakening where you're noticing that there's something better out there for you. Somebody could have just left a relationship that they realized that wasn't the one. You're the one. All right. And they're healing, preparing themselves for this star right here. Okay, they're preparing themselves. Here it is again. They're thinking about you, wanting to come towards you. Somebody is planning. They're planning something. They are. They're planning something for you both. Yeah. Show me one more about self-indulgence. And what's this page of wands energy? Yeah, the Page of Wands is fit, wanting to stop things from being stagnant. They want to come out of this waiting period. They want to show you the love that they have for you. Somebody wants to show you through passion. Yeah, somebody wants to be intimate. Somebody wants to show you how much they care about you. Somebody wants to satisfy you in every way and make you happy. Somebody is saying that you deserve it. Wow. Somebody could be telling me that I'm no longer stuck in this relationship anymore. I'm no longer stuck going round and around and around. I'm mature enough and elevated enough to see what I need to be doing and which way I need to go. Here you are. Knowing that you have a lot to offer, taking your time and staying focused until it's time for you to give it. Yeah, we got the successful completion of a cycle here, the world. This is an ending, bringing a new beginning. 
and you're guarded. Maybe you're closing this cycle completely because you know that it's going to be hell trying to deal with this person. You've already been there, did that. With the chariot card, positive movement forward. So you guys could be closing the cycle on the past and talking about something in the future. Or you're acknowledging the fact that that was the past, this is now. And you may be telling each other that you're better off as friends. But somebody, when it comes to giving this passion, and this is not the Ace of Pentacles, you want the Ace of Pentacles. And you're not going to stop until you have it. You need somebody that's going to match this offer. Right? That's how I feel. So this is the energy that you're going to be experiencing probably this weekend. I feel like this energy is going to be coming towards you. Um, let's see what the truth is about this situation. What does my earth signs need to know about this connection with this person? What's the truth about this connection with this particular person for the earth signs? What do they need to know about this person? So you have the magic to transform the power. To transform this connection and make it something great, something ending and something beginning. Lack of money is causing tension. So this person is going through money issues, trying to save possibly. And then also they're enjoying the single life. Somebody's enjoying being single and just having it be themselves. So this is a little indicator of um, a peek into this person's world and what they're struggling with. And um, some of the things that may be holding them back. Also, a third party, it says a third party is interfering with your relationship. So there is somebody else that this person could be emotionally connected to. Maybe that's why they're not emotionally connected with you. All right. These are things to think about when you're um, talking to this person, but they are going to try to talk to you about the past, maybe talking about reconciling or getting back together. I'm sending you my love, light and positive energy. Um, and I gave you the information if you want to pick a reading. Thank you for being here with me. I love you guys and I will see you on the next video. Bye loves.